Oh, oh crap. Before you run away because this video is about spiders, I would really like to urge you to stick around because I think that you'll come to learn that despite your potential fears, these animals are really interesting and hopefully from the safety of your home behind your screen, you can learn a little something about them and overcome your fear. Otherwise, I completely respect your wishes to not watch. But give it a shot. Anyways, guys, with that being said, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion and you're watching Reptiliatus. If that warning wasn't sufficient for you, please note that this video is going to be about tarantulas eating a bunch of really, really bright blue worms. For those of you that are newcomers to the channel, my name is Dion. I make videos about specialty pets such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of interesting invertebrates as the one you'll see here today. And I post videos every Tuesday and Friday for your viewing and educational pleasure. So if that's something you're interested in and you want to make sure that you're not going to miss one of my uploads, please consider subscribing down below and afterwards ding that little notification bell beside it so that you don't miss any of the uploads. Awesome. It seems that the fad right now is to call these things gummy worms. Mmm, mmm, mmm. But yeah, that's what we're doing today. I went to my local pet store to buy about 500 crickets, and I couldn't help but notice that they had a great selection of hornworms. So I went ahead and purchased 10 of them. I've given them some time to munch away on the hornworm chow, and yeah, they're ready to roll. I mean, not to their benefit. And I think that now is a better time than any. I went on my computer a few minutes ago and couldn't believe that I haven't made a video about tarantulas since October, specifically for Halloween. So it's about time that I put something out for you spider lovers. I really hope that you're gonna stick around and enjoy this video. Before we do that, I wanna thank some of you. I've noticed that I had a few new merch sales just since my last video about Tiki. And by the way, he's loving the new enclosure. Check out the link up above if you wanna see more on that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate your guys' support. And all that money quite literally goes back into this. My animals, getting them upgraded enclosures, it just helps make everything better and better. From the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate your support. Now, here are a few of them. I wasn't kidding, like they are pretty juicy this week. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all two things this time. Firstly, I'd like you to let me know in the comments which animal today you think has the best takedown. I'll be sure to comment what I think as well and pin my comment, but I wanna know which animal you thought had the best takedown on the hornworm. Sorry guys, they're sitting over there going, what do you mean takedown? What's gonna happen was, I don't know, I don't like this. <laughs> circle of life in a way? That's the first question. Secondly, I want to ask you, what is your favorite tarantula? Maybe it's your pet that you own if you have one, or maybe it's a species that's just a dream for you to someday own, like just, you know, maybe like a Brazilian jewel tarantula. I don't know. It's tough to say. Let me know though. I'm really interested. All right, guys, let's get into this. Give me a drum roll. All right, guys, I'm not really doing this in any particular order. However, the first tarantula we are going to feed tonight is my female Cereopagopus libidus, which is the, oh, okay, which is the angry cobalt blue tarantula, formerly Hapopelma lividum. She's webbed up her enclosure. It's always nice having plants. If you didn't see my video about that, having live plants and tarantula enclosures, definitely check out the link up here after the video is done. Uh, to learn more about the benefits and such. But yeah, here is my girl who is just angry. <laughs> All right, little lady, let's see what you got. Oh, oh crap. Not good, ladies and gentlemen, not good. Okay, 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 okay. Huh. Okay, 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 okay. Whoa, whoa. Okay, well, Hornworm is like, can you get me out of here? Shoot. We got the hornworm out. Okay, well that was a fail. So I'm just gonna close the lid on her and let her be. How does one redeem themselves from a feeding that just went so poorly? Well, we bring out Dorothy. Oh my gosh, who is also being crazy right now? What is happening? Like, what is happening tonight? Dorothy, can you please 
give us a good feeding response. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Woo! You got it, girl. So clearly, Dorothy is not interested in disappointing anyone. Okay, friends, next we have Afro, who is my Tlitlocatli albopelosus, as Petco so kindly corrected me to say. Got you. Dion, let me bring you up to speed. Tlitlocatli albopelosus, with an S on the end, not M. Let's see if my beautiful girl here would like to have a horn on as well. Okay, Afro. Wow, that's a pretty brave hornworm, I'm not gonna lie. Pulling on the webs and everything. A recipe for disaster. Oh yeah, no, you're done. Sorry, dude. Oh, 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 right in the head. Oh, geez, there's some juice going on there. Eee. And you can see the hornworm is thrashing around, trying to use that little horn on the end to poke, and the spider keeps its legs and pedipalps up protect itself not that the horns any threat to her actually this one doesn't even have one somehow not on it okay everyone the next tarantula we're going to try and feed a hornworm to is my postalotheria tigrina waselli female she is absolutely stunning Usually she likes them, so you can see what happens. Hey, little lady, come on. Oh, here we go. Just thinking about it. Boom! Nice! Oh, yeah. Oh, she's not playing games tonight. And if you can see, she is kind of dulling out due for a molt soon, but she has purples actually. Kind of make them out on that leg there and a little bit on the carapace, but this is a beautiful species of the genus. I mean, they all are, honestly, but. All right, guys, the next tarantula we are offering a hornworm to is my adult female Afonopalma simani, which is the Costa Rican zebra tarantula. Hey, girl. There you go. Would you like a hornworm? Hello. Oh, here she is. Oh, yeah, you just got, got munched. All right, well, let's let her do her thing and move on. Okay, so this next one is really feisty. This is my Serial Pagapus Minax female. All right, girl, let's let her do her thing. All right, everyone, please keep my skin in your thoughts and prayers. The next tarantula we're going to try and give a hornworm to is Cayenne, and she is my Brachypalma Bomi. Beautiful spider, less beautiful temperament, you know? Okay, Cayenne, here you go. Wow, you're being very gentle today. I mean, not so much the hornworm, but I appreciate that. All right, everyone, the next tarantula we're going to try and feed is Kilani, and she is my Posilotheria ornata. Beautiful tarantula that's quite large. Here it goes. She is 
going to come up and check things out. This should be creating some receptivity already. Any minute now. Here she comes. Called it. Look at that spider, guys. Isn't she incredible? And she's waiting. Here we go. Oh man, look at her. <laughs> oh, she's so beautiful. All right. Good girl. Enjoy your hornworm. All right, everybody. This is everybody's favorite Guyanese skeleton tarantula, Sally, the Ephebopus marinus. Yikes a real, she's crazy. All right, friends, we literally have two hornworms left. So big juicy ones I saved till the end. We're going to feed my two Therophosa stermes. These are the Burgundy Goliath bird eaters, one of the largest species of spider in the world. This here is my, I think, penultimate male. His name is Chewbacca, and he also loves to hair kick. So, okay, buddy, be nice, okay? Please be nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. See what I mean? The movement gets this guy nervous. Here we go, here we go. Oh, you are so going the wrong way, Hornung. Oh! Oh my goodness. Can we just talk about those fangs, guys? They're literally crazy. Hey, we're getting our happy dance. Good boy, buddy. Good boy, Chewy. I did want a chance to show you guys something super cool though. When it comes to ensuring that you're not bit by a tarantula, it's not always about venom potency. Animals are capable of producing some serious mechanical damage. And so what I wanted to show you is actually uh, the last molted chelicerae on my female burgundy goliath bird eater, Aragog. Look at this fang. Do you see how big this is? You do not want that piercing into your finger, let me tell you. So it, the fang stays folded down and then it can, well, I don't want to break it, but it can, it bends back and forth. You can kind of see, well, I just broke it now, but it comes out that far and then it draws back in. And what's interesting is you can actually see where the venom comes out of the uh, fang. It's not where you would think, it's actually somewhere in the middle there. You can see a slit. It's not actually, <laughs> look at my fingers, fun times. Hopefully that's just Cite and not eradicating hairs. A lot of people think that it's like the tip of the fang or something where the venom comes out, but it's actually part way down the fang, which is also very interesting to observe. Nonetheless, yeah, you do not want to mess with these animals. You also really need to see that Zosere has all these serrated teeth on it. If you can imagine when it grabs its prey, that fang is coming down and it's actually sort of subduing the prey against that too. Uh, it's almost like a praying mantis's raptorial arm, if you will. And there goes, the <laughs> there goes the fang itself. But you get the point I'm making. It's super, super interesting. All right, friends. So for the grand finale, we're gonna feed my huge, probably the largest tarantula I own, Aragog. This is my adult female Therophosa stermi. Burgundy Goliath bird eater also. Eventually we can pair her up with Chewbacca. So without further ado, here is Aragog.
cord horn worm. That is so messed up. Blah. All right, guys. There we go. Aragog has her meal, and that is the last spider of the feeding video. I swear I'm not even kidding. I'm a little itchy after some of those feedings. Well guys, how do you like that? I really hope you enjoyed today's video. There were definitely some solid takedowns, but I'm on Team Aragog. That was incredible. Epic takedown. Everyone else did decent, but there are a lot of gentle takedowns this video, but Aragog, that was graphic, man. That's like, that's borderline too much to say the least. So don't forget to answer the questions of the day. Let me know how you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Really appreciate your support and viewership as always. Guys, we hit 97K. We are less than 3K away from 100,000. Oh, so cool. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Hope you and your families are safe, well, and healthy. And I look forward to seeing you all on Tuesday. Take care guys. If you wanna see more awesome feeding videos, tarantulas, Check out the playlist up above. See you guys later. Bye.